Welcome to Picture Book Chat, where we feature a handful of new picture books each month and discuss what makes them great. Whether you're a parent, caregiver, or teacher, you're bound to find some wonderful reading suggestions from librarians Mary Ellen Brax and Sherry Boggs. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Picture Book Chat. I'm Mary Ellen Brax, and with me today is Sherry Boggs. Hello. And we're back talking about picture books, brand new picture books. And we've got picture books. Yeah, we've got some fun ones today. Do you want to start? Sure. Sure. Um, So this is Nana in the Country, and it's by Lauren Castillo. Castillo? I might be saying that wrong. Um, Anyway, first off, she wrote a book, um, maybe it's about eight or ten years ago, called Nana in the City, which I just love. Oh, yes. Um, Mm -hmm. And in that book, she's wearing the same outfit, and her grandson comes to visit her, and they do all this fun city stuff, like Mm -hmm. riding the subway and feeding the pigeons in the park Mm -hmm. and going to fancy restaurants. And in this book, she comes out to the country, and he's super excited to show her all the country things. Um, I love these black outlines and Mm -hmm. it just makes everything in this image pop um i love the relationship between the two of them they're clearly close i just and she looks like such a fun grandma yeah (laughs) um so they're feeding the geese and and he thinks that she might be nervous around the geese um he thinks that she might be alarmed by all the bug life (laughs) and she's not um Shows her the birds. He wants to show her how to blow dandelions, and she already knows how to do it. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of disappointed. <laughs> that, you know, he's got this great world to show her, and she somehow mm-hmm. already seems to know all about it. Um, and I love the way that I'm taking all the things to talk about, but I love how <laughs> the sky is getting dusky. Mm-hmm. Um, the way that the illustrator handles light in this is just wonderful. But um. Anyway, they tuck in the animals. It's bedtime. You can see them putting the sheep to bed. Um, and he's lying awake trying to think of, like, what he's going to do mm-hmm. to, you know, what can he possibly show his grandma mm-hmm. tomorrow that she hasn't already seen. Um, and then there's a storm outside. Um, there's a thunderclap. His grandma's already up. And they realize there's a sheep left out in the rain. Oh. And he remembers a trick. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to ruin what that mm-hmm. trick is, but it, it, he's able to impress mm-hmm. his grandmother with his mm-hmm. ingenuity and his um, resourcefulness. So love mm-hmm. this book. I think it would be good for story time. Love mm-hmm. to tell you what you think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it will be very good for story time. And um, I love the problem solving in it, too, yes. which is another thing. And like you, I just love the colors mm-hmm. in here and the illustrations. And it just seems so country-like, like you want to be there. Yes. Like I kept thinking, well, I want to go visit out in the country and stay and be there with sheep and yeah. dandelions and all big of that. Porch. Yes, a nice big porch to sit on. Um, so, yeah, I really like that. And I think it will be perfect for for like preschool story time. Okay. And so, um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. And that relationship between the little boy and his grandmother is really nice that it's not, it's just a little different. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to have those grandma and grandpa books in because some kids are being raised by their grandparents, mm-hmm. but, you know, going and visiting them too. Like my kids always went back to Boston to visit their, uh, their grandparents. Um, both sets of grandparents lived outside of Boston. Um, so, um, and they would come here, too. So, um, yeah, what are they going to show grandma and grandpa when they come to visit us in Spokane? And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it was a really fun one. Um, yeah. I have just rave reviews for that one. I just, it, for some reason, it really just struck my fancy. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had a librarian um, who was always kind of frustrated, like, looking for books set you know, with the rural settings, yes. mm-hmm. or farm settings, because that's kind of what's all around right. here. And because the hub of the publishing world is New York City, like I tend to see a lot more urban yes. set mm-hmm. picture books, which they're awesome and I right. need those too. But I, I always get really excited when I see one with a mm-hmm. um, really rural setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think we've kind of had the in-between settings Mm -hmm. for a long time. And for a long time, we were trying to beef up the city settings of of kids living in apartments and things. So it's nice to have all of the settings there. So, yeah, I really liked it. So I thought it was great. Awesome. So that's Nana in the Country. And then here is the 
ISBN number to scan and get to our catalog. Yeah. Great. So what's next, Mary Ellen? So what we have next is one called Two Wheels, which is um, about a little boy. This is by David Gibb. And it's about a little boy who's learning how to ride a bicycle. He's very excited. And again, the end papers (laughs) show you all different types of bicycles. Um, And so it talks about how he's learning to ride this bike. And he's so excited um, because he is, um, his dad is always out riding bikes. And so he's really excited that dad brings him a bike. And first is the tricycle. So it's kind of that progression, (laughs) which I think is really good for kids to see. I don't think I've seen one where there's really been a progression like this before. I think you're right. And, um, but then he realizes, wow, you know, he, he's, he's kind of envious of the little boys. (laughs) Um, but um, then his dad brings him home a two-wheel bike, but there's no pedals on it. Mm-hmm. And he says, well, this is where you're going to get used to it. It will help you learn how to balance. Yeah. And so then he starts practicing. And then he brings home the bike with the training <laughs> wheels. And um, he's like, well, why do I still have four wheels? And dad says, well, this will they're just until you get the hang of it. So it's just great. That I, again, the illustrations are wonderful in here. The colors are great. Um, I love that they show the little cul-de-sac, which, you know, yeah, is kind of fun. to <laughs> Suburban to, setting. Yeah, suburban setting. But then, you know, it's kind of that transition through the summer into the fall, and then suddenly he's riding his bike. And then he realizes dad's not there, right there beside him. And then he was doing it all by himself. So... Um, I think this will be great. Summertime's a lot a time when a lot of kids get their new bikes mm-hmm. too. Um, so I got to see our neighbor child going through this where all of a oh. sudden this spring she was out front. So we were watching from our front window and um yeah, Evie was out riding her bike and it really, I'm, I'm yelling to my husband, Evie's on your bike. It was just, <laughs> you know, like proud grant the the fit the um surrogate grandparents that live next door you know um and so then they're out for a family bike ride oh my gosh i love the cat in the basket i know isn't that great i just now noticed that yeah um like my cat would ever stay in the basket <laughs> any of them cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah no i thought it was really good and then he puts all his old bikes up for sale oh. <laughs> that was really cute um but yeah i thought it was beautiful and just Another book about, you know, riding a bike for the first time, but I really like the progression of this one. So I think this would be good for um, preschool story time. Oh, good. It's not too long. Um, I think, yeah, you'd have a lot of kids liking it and relating to the fact that they want to ride a bike like their older siblings, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What were your thoughts, Sherry? I love this too, and I I love the progression. Um, I love that the bike, like the little wooden bike where they learn mm-hmm. to balance. And I, I didn't have that growing yeah. up. I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. That would have been so helpful. Because balancing is the hardest part. Yeah. Yeah. I love the front picture too. And just really, it kind of looks like the Palouse it here. So that, it, that they went out to the country for their bike ride. Yeah. My only quibble with it, and um, it's just about like how you ride a bike. When he gets the training wheels taken off mm-hmm. and his dad takes him to the top of this hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yes. he says, mm-hmm. just keep pedaling. <laughs> yeah. And he starts to pedal, but he never tells him how to brake. Yeah. I read it three or four times because I'm just like, he's got to have told him. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that seems like it could have had a bad ending, but... um yeah. And maybe they didn't want to complicate it, but I, I was just, mm-hmm. I, to me, it felt like a strong mm-hmm. addition, so... Yeah. Um, but other than that, I just... I love the excitement. I love the expressions um, mm-hmm. on his face and his dad's face. Like, I just love this little family. Yeah. Um, and I love that the dad has so many different kinds of bikes. I yeah. Think it'll be fun for kids. Like, mm-hmm. he's got a recumbent. He's got a tandem. Yeah. And his mountain bike and then the regular bike. Mm-hmm. But I love that it's from a child's perspective. So it's mm-hmm. like, this is a skinny bike for going very fast. This has big knobbly tires to ride mm-hmm. in the mud. He has a bike that mom can ride with him if he's yeah. lonely. And if he gets too tired, he even has a bike he can lie down on and take a nap. Yeah. It's <laughs> um, a very childlike mm-hmm. perspective. Yeah. Um, and I just love the attention to detail. Like, 
I think there's even kind of some stem stuff going on, mm-hmm. like noticing like why do you think yeah this bike has knobs? Oh yeah, like, yeah. No, that's a good point. What would be useful about it? Yeah, mm-hmm. and why would a skinny bike? Yeah, for going fast. So, yeah. Um, I just thought this was great. Mm-hmm. I I love pretty much any book we get about learning to ride a bike, but mm-hmm. I think this is going to be at the top. Yeah, yeah. No, very good. I think my oldest son, who loves, he works at a bike shop too. Um, he would love this, you know, for when he has kids. Um, so um, and he would he would have an explanation for us for all the different kinds of bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, great book. The back of the book is just as nice as the front of the book. And here is the ISBN to scan it and go to our catalog. And the end papers are the same as the front papers. So, so cool. Yep, did a great job. It's the next one. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I'd get to do this. <laughs> I forgot it was in there. Okay, so this is Big Bear and Little Bear. I'm trying to get the glare off of that. Go oh, fishing. Yeah. Um, so the very, there's so much that I love about this. Um, any book where they're going fishing, I love because that's what I grew up with. <laughs> um, and the front makes me think of I was going to bring my copy of Little Bear that oh, is yeah. a by yeah. Lisa mm-hmm. and Minrick. It's one of the very first mm-hmm. readers that HarperCollins published. Um, and it has that same. It does. That's what I thought of too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, just their postures mm-hmm. and really the naturalistic way. I mean, these aren't teddy bears, they look like yeah. real bears. Mm-hmm. I, I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the illustrator is Erin Stead. She's won a Caldecott medal. She's done a ton of books mm-hmm. that we've talked about. Yeah. Um, the one most people probably think of as a sick day for Amos McGee. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's wonderful. I love the font that they're using here. It's just got this wonderful old-fashioned look. Mm-hmm. I love that type. Um, there's tons of white space. Mm-hmm. This one really made me think of Little Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like especially, yeah. There's one where he's standing exactly like that. Yeah. Talking to mm-hmm. his mom. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this case, it's the dad. And there's all these different steps you take to go fishing. Like you pull on your baggy blue pants and your boots. Um, their coats are yellow with pockets and hoods. I just love all the detail in yeah. this. The boots. Yeah. You need poles. Um, so like you kind of talk about what you need in order mm-hmm. like you've got to dress then you've got to get your gear i love their little wagon here. Mm-hmm. um and i love this scones says big bear fishermen need nice warm blueberries scones. yeah <laughs> yes says little bear scones <laughs> now i want a scone <laughs> I do too. so they pick the berries they make their scones they pack all that up um you're realizing you're kind of halfway through the book and then they finally go fishing <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they go down and get in the boat and like this this page just got me. Like mm-hmm. you can see that he's nervous to get. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. kind of wobbly. Um, he finally does it. He jumps into his dad's arms, and they have a big hug. Um, it's just so sweet. And you see them out there. You've got to be quiet. You've got to be patient. Yeah, you've got to stay still. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Big Bear forgets, and he's like, "Fish." <laughs> yeah, <are> you. you? <laughs> big Bear forgets to whisper. Um, eventually, they do see a fish. But I just love this yes. spread to mm-hmm. when they're out in the middle of the lake. And it's so much just about the experience of being out there mm-hmm. in the boat, whether you catch mm-hmm. something or not. And in this book, they see the fish, but they don't catch it, which yeah. is kind of like, um, again, the fish is very naturalistic. Mm-hmm. But I just, I love everything about this book. What did you think about it, Mary Ellen? Yeah, I loved it too. I, I had two concerns. Mm-hmm. One, that it might be a little long for yeah. story time. Um, but I think you could still read it, you know, might be better Mm one-on-one. Um, and the other reason I think it might be better for one-on-one is like some of the pictures are nice and bright, but some of them are pretty, they're light watercolors. And sometimes those are hard to see in a really large crowd. I think if you had a medium sized crowd to a smaller crowd, it would be fine. Um, but there is a lot of text on the pages, um, for like a young preschool story time, I would, yeah. you know, I think if you've got four-year-olds, five-year-olds, I think maybe this might be f- just fine. And of course, first graders, 
kindergartners and first graders who maybe are reading yeah. the Little Bear books, this would be good for. But I do. I love the story. For me, I was reading this and I was like, it's so relaxing. I know. <laughs> it really is. It makes me kind of want to go fishing because I, I just want to sit there. I don't need to catch anything. I just want to sit out in a boat, boat on a lake. Scones. In a lake, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, I thought that was... It, so and just the expressions on the bears' faces too. A long time passes, and I do. I do love this page also. Mm-hmm. Um, and they talk about waiting and waiting, which is you know when you first take a small child fishing. Um, yeah. yeah, I remember that with our oldest. You know, just he was pretty patient for a three-year-old his first time out fishing. Um, he might have even been two. Um, that's probably where his love for the great outdoors stems, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, I think it's, it's great. And I would go, remember going fishing with my dad. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think this will bring a lot of nostalgia to a lot of, you know, adults mm-hmm. too. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I loved it. I just had, I would think about it before using it with a group with the nice, be with the beautiful soft colors. Um, yeah. And then just making sure your group is um, old enough to sit through. Yeah. But great one-on-one. Like I would have definitely have checked this out for my kids. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Everybody would have loved it. I think it could work <laughs> for, I mean, not somebody just learning to read, but somebody that's a little more advanced and mm-hmm. read on their own. Um where they're kind of in that last level and yeah. that fluency level in our readers, we have them leveled. And just before you make that jump mm-hmm. to a uh, beginning chapter book, I think that would be good for them. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, just there's lots of repetition and it's kind of soothing. The cadence of mm-hmm. it even reminds me of the Little Bear books. Right. And you've got some picture cues in there also. Yeah, which is important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Waiting and waiting. Yes. So. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. Big Bear and Little Bear Go Fishing by Amy Hest, illustrated by Aaron Steed. And then here is the barcode on the back, so you can get straight to our catalog and put it on hold. Yeah. All right. What do we have? To- oh, this last one. I just love this one, and it's um, <laughs> Luigi the spider who wanted to be a kitten. Oh. And um, it's such a a cute story and it's um about this little spider named luigi and he goes into this house he likes hiding in dark corners he's so happy he gets into this house and then there's an um older woman who lives in the um in the house and she she was sweeping and then she ended up seeing him but she just picked him up and said um why hello you're a very unusual looking kitten. I will call you Luigi. And Luigi was very confused. He was pretty sure his name was not Luigi. And he was very sure he was not a kitten. (laughs) But she goes on thinking he's a kitten and she gives him food to eat. And she's like, he's like, this is different, but it's good. (laughs) Um, And then she teaches him how to play. And then, um, you know, he crawls back into his dark place to go to sleep. But then she ends up making a bed for him. And here he is making webs. And then he thinks, maybe I shouldn't do that because that might, you know, scare right. she her. Thinks <laughs> she thinks I'm a kitten. But it's just so cute to see him playing with this kitten. I, I must admit, I'm not I'm not scared of spiders, but I'm not a huge fan of spiders. It kind of freaks you out a little bit if this you don't like one. spiders. This is a big one. I'm like, I'm not so sure if I saw a spider this big, what I would do. But, you know, he's she's got a little pillow on the couch while they're eating <laughs> popcorn. She hears the little bed she makes for him. Um, but then she um, has friends come over. And he's really nervous because he's like, well, what if they tell her that I'm not a kitten? He thinks, you know, she's, you know that this older woman is just confused. And um, (laughs) so he's pretended so hard that he believes it himself. So he hides when her friends come over. And then, but he even, but then she brings him out. So he tried to make, um, like, make it look like he had little ears, like a (laughs) kitten. He tries to hide legs and make one a tail or whatever. But then, um, but then one of the, 
woman who's visiting her said, well, I'm, you know, what made you decide to adopt a spider, Betty? I thought you always wanted a kitten. And he was like so scared. And I love the expression of his face there as he's eating his little snacks. <laughs> and then she, um, and she ran away. Um, and he dreamed about being a kitten, but then she finds him and she says, Oh, Luigi, I'm sorry. I don't want you to pretend anymore. No more pretending. And then she goes, yeah, she's like trying to fall away, um, run away. But um, she goes, I like you for who you really are. So there's a really nice message yeah. in this story, too. But it, it's just, he's a very cute spider. I mean. <laughs> like, I think he's supposed to be some kind of tarantula. Yeah. Super cute. Super adorable. Um, but this is a long story, I will say. Mm -hmm. I love this story, but you're going to want to read it to older kids. So, you know, that four, five, six, seven-year-old. Yeah. I think that five through seven-year-old will really get into it because they'll, they'll catch on pretty quick. But he's not, he's not a kitten. He's a spider. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be. I should have read this to our neighbor kids to see what they thought. But it's Michelle, Michelle Knudsen. Knudsen. And um, she just great. And the illustrator's Kevin Hawks. And so he's. Um, oh, they did like Library Lion. Library Lion. That's a good one. Yeah. So I just, I thought it was a really different book mm -hmm. that I really just, I loved it. Well, anything with animals, of course, I always love too. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but this was just so different. And they made such a cute spider. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, for some kids that aren't into spiders, it may make them think, well, maybe they're not all so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, what did you think? I, I loved it for a lot of the same reasons you did. Like, mm -hmm. I can't think of another picture book this reminds me of. Yeah. It's so original and so clever. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love the friendship between them that they're both pretending for the sake of each other's yeah. feelings yes which is just mm -hmm. so sweet i love that you know like once the truth is out about mm -hmm. his identity that, <laughs> it, you know there's just so much acceptance and, yeah um mm -hmm. it's their friendship that really matters yeah which i think is wonderful and i, I just love the clever things in the illustrations like you mm -hmm. were talking about where he makes little ears with his legs, yes mm -hmm. like a tail yeah, the yeah. um I just, and just seeing him play with stuff like oh the yeah here mm -hmm. and the game pieces it's just wonderful and playful yeah and the yarn where he, he's on his back with all his legs up in the air yeah and i love there's little details let me see if i can find where you see her glasses up close they have little kittens on them oh <laughs> Cute. I didn't notice that. It wasn't till the end. Yeah, you can really oh, see, see it here. It <laughs> oh, that that's cute. Um, so there's just really fun stuff going mm -hmm. on in the details, and I agree. Like older kids, mm -hmm. I think this would be great. With. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, just another great one. Luigi the spider who wanted to be a kitten. A fun one. Mm -hmm. And on the back here is the barcode for you to scan and put a hold on it. It would be one I'd highly recommend you read. Yeah. So um, just a fun one. So, well, thank you so much for joining us. Can't wait for next month, for our books for next month. So thank you so much, and we hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.